video on the implementation of the uh, analysis of variance ANOVA in Microsoft Excel. So, analysis of variance is analysis which aim of uh, seeing if whether or not a mean uh, is different between two or more groups of individuals. So, in this video, we have, we have data on three of means of students in three classes. Each sample have L6 students, and the aim is to see if whether or not is uh, the, the mean uh, is different among classes. So, see if whether or not statistically uh, classes have the same level or, or level are different. So to run analysis of variance, you need to go in data and use a data analysis tool pack in order to uh, make uh, an overtest. So if this data analysis tool pack is not yet appearing in your Microsoft Excel, just go in File, go in Option, and when you are in the Option, click on Add Ins, click on Add In, and uh, then click on Go. And when you are in Go, you just uh, select this analysis tool pack, select and click on OK, and you will see that this analysis tool pack will appear in your Microsoft Excel. So click on double click on your analysis tool pack. After, after that, you select the ANOVA simple factor, so the one way ANOVA. So uh, when you select, you double click on the one uh, ANOVA simple pack. Second step is to uh, input the range of your data. So you click on this arrow and select data, then click on the arrow and uh, you must specify column or rows if my data is in column uh, format so you can click on row if your data is uh, in row format so you can uh, you must select as here the label in the first row because in my data uh, in the first row is the label of my uh, different data so you can also select the output range of uh, the result of an test or create a new worksheet or a new workbook so I select create create a new workbook and then click on ok and you can see that our result have been generated. So here are our results. We have a result of our single factor ANOVA. We have count 86 sample for each uh, classroom. We have uh, some of our different variables, the average of our, in our different classes. And seeing that we can notice that mean are very close, but we will see according to uh, statistical tests, uh, mean are different in different groups. We have a sum of uh, square of uh, our variable and within group we have the degree of freedom, teacher statistic and the p-value. So the p-value is the value that we use in order to take a result, a decision in our test. The normal hypothesis of the uh, ANOVA test is quality in mean, in the different mean in, uh, of our classes. So uh, p-value is uh, more than 5%. We can not, we, uh, we uh, will just accept normal hypothesis which is the equality of uh, our means in different classes. So we cannot say, we can say that our mean uh, different classes are the same level. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on uh, one way and over in Microsoft Excel. And we hope it uh, very well help you understand how to understand and interpret the one way and over test as well as the implementation in Microsoft Excel.